concept of this video is to take a still photo and turn it into a moving video. So import whatever photo you choose into Photoshop twice in two different layers, and one layer is going to be the background, and then the other layer is going to be the foreground. The first thing you need to do is select the layer that's going to be your background, and using the clone stamp tool, cover up as much of the foreground as possible. Now for the foreground layer, erase or delete all of the background so that only the foreground remains and the background is transparent. For most of this I use the magic lasso tool, I also use the eraser. As long as you erase the background it doesn't matter how you do it. Use whatever method you're most comfortable with. To keep the foreground transparent, save it as a PNG. Now import these photos into After Effects, create a new composition, drag them onto your timeline, and then create a new layer, new null object. And then make all of these layers 3D and parent the foreground and background to the null object. Click on Active Camera and change it to a different view so that you can see your layers in 3D space, and then drag them on the Z axis so that there's separation between the two. Now when you drag your null object, you should see the foreground and background move independently from each other. Now I'm going to quickly pre-compose all three layers. Select your null object and press P. This will open up your position settings for that layer. Clicking the clock next to position allows you to add keyframes. For a pan effect, put a keyframe at the beginning by clicking the clock, go to the end of your clip, and then drag your photo over. The last thing that I do is add a layer of dust. The video that I used for this dust is from the Video Copilot Action Essentials 2 pack. Anything that you can add that moves, such as video of fog or a lens flare, will make your final product a lot more realistic.